Hey guys, my name is Dave, <clears throat> and welcome to another video. Sorry, my throat is need, need, needs to be a bit cleared out. Anyway, that's off topic. Um, so, recently there's something I've noticed. I was talking with Aaron last night, um, my friend Aaron, and one thing was brought up consistently while we were having our kind of randomized conversation. There's something that I've actually seen go down way too often in recent, in, in pretty much all the years that I've been able to get involved in something like this. People who are dating have a tendency to cause flawed scenarios. Now what I mean by that, I'm not, before I continue, I'm not referring to myself specifically. In fact, for the most part, what I'm referring to is actually involving the years where I was actually single, but kind of studying other relationships to a specific degree without being creepy. I've always, I've actually been pretty good at that, I have to say. Because when it comes to me doing that, how I would approach it is I would take, I, I would befriend others and help them. They would share their issues with me and by their own choice and when they do that that's when i would kind of put out okay so this kind of relationship acts like this that kind of thing that being said um one thing i've noticed constantly over the past 10 years is the fact that when one side understands how to approach a relationship the other side has a tendency to know nothing. Good example of this would be back when I was in high school, there was actually, um, I, I used to be friends with like the uh, football team and the cheerleaders um, of the high school that I had. And they, the, the reason for this is because unlike this stereotype, these guys were actually, first of all, very smart people. And secondly, very kind. A couple of them actually I had in many classes and they would get one of the highest, gr they'd be one of the higher graded students. Amongst these, many of them were in relationships with each other. Without naming names, mainly because I can't remember them, one of these particular couples really had a hard time staying connected. They fell in love with each other because they had many similarities. But the problem wasn't particularly that they lost those similarities. It was more that they did not know how to click with each other on any other topics. A lot of relationships that had that situation, still have that situation, they'll like get into one-sided arguments, so to speak. I've noticed and and this is the only reason I'm able to talk about this is because I actually kept note about it in uh, okay and the journal that I used is actually it's on the top shelf you guys can't see it but it's actually uh, like this blue journal with brown it, it has a really cool design in my opinion a anyway um, in the journal it was one of very few entries I ever wrote I actually kept record of especially this particular relationship because of the fact that both of them were already close friends of mine. The only difference, the, the I guess the only reason be, that I never ended up giving it a chance is because back in high school, I never was in a relationship. I, in high school, I maybe went on two dates. Well. Four? Five dates. Five dates. Now that I'm thinking about it, I went on five. I don't know. I... <sighs> One of the things that... It's kind of hard to think about just because of how much I actually did respect these two. That's actually why I'm not saying the names as well. 
but these two individuals, they did not, as said before, click very well, aside from the things that they actually ended up in a very large argument in the long run ended up breaking apart, breaking up, and never talking again. As close as they were to each other originally, that destroyed the relationship. The fact that they couldn't click. They couldn't come to terms with certain things. And I've noticed, I noticed in the conversation that I was having with Aaron last night, it's, this is becoming a more frequent thing. To the point where it is actually dangerous. Physically. Not just verbally. It has caused very... <sighs> I've noticed based off of what others have come to me about in recent years that it is causing major physical abuse. Whether from the woman or the man. I've heard it from both sides. And it's pathetic, in my opinion. People... I, these are, to keep in mind, guys, though, that this is based off of just those who have approached me and complained to me about the situations going on in their life. I am not saying at all, in the slightest, that this is everyone. In fact, I know for a fact it's not. There are several relationships out there that click so freaking well. They get along so well. Every, every conversation if it's not just an agreement type of thing, it's kind, it's more of a debate rather than an argument, if that makes sense. Like, one will go off, well, this because of this, and the other will go, well, yeah, but this because of this, rather than yelling at each other over the fact that the other could not comprehend something. Arguments do generally happen in relationships for the most part. If it's not uncommon. Even those who get wedded, if they got in arguments, that's not uncommon. Even so, it's still kind of sad to see a relationship kind of break apart because one side can't understand the other. And it's something I've seen happen time and time again. But, I want to say teach their own, but I don't know if that's the proper term for this. I don't know what goes through people's heads most of the time. Maybe there are details that people don't reveal when I talk to them about it. But, one way or the other, these are my thoughts on the matter. But what are your guys'? Um, do you guys think that relationships could be worked on in a different manner than what has been led on in recent years do you think that they're fine where they are maybe i'm overanalyzing that kind of thing i don't know let me know in the comments below want to check out more discussion rant stuff that i've done or videos about myself that i've talked about uh click the links on the side of my head here um if you really like these kind of live stuff please consider subscribing to the channel because one of these type of videos goes up every day in the meantime though i'm gonna head off i've actually got some business i gotta take care of outside of this uh but i hope to see you guys in another video bye for now